right. All right. Good day, my friends. Now, let me uh, just read first and then explain later. Now, after the death of Joshua, it came to pass that the children of Israel asked the Lord, saying, Who shall go up for us against the Canaanites first to fight them? And the Lord said, Judah shall go up. Behold, I have delivered the land into his hand. And Judah said unto Simeon, his brother, Come up with me into my lot, that we may fight against the Canaanites, and I likewise will go with thee unto thy lot. So Simeon went with him. And Judah went up, and the Lord delivered the Canaanites and the Perizzites into the, their hand, and they slew of them in Bezek ten thousand men. And they found Adonah Bezek in Bezek, and they found and they fought against him, and they slew the Canaanites and the Perizzites and but Adonai Bezek fled, and they pursued after him, and caught him, and cut off his thumbs and his great toes. And Adonai Bezek said, Three score and ten kings, having their thumbs and their great toes cut off, gathered their meat under my table, as I have done, so God has requited me. And they brought him to Jerusalem, and there he died. Now, the children of Judah had fought against Jerusalem, and had taken it and smitten it with the edge of the sword and set the city on fire and afterward the children of Judah went down to fight against the Canaanites that dwelt in the mountain and in the south and in the valley <clears throat> and Judah went against the Canaanites and dwelt in Hebron now the name of Hebron before was Kerjatharba and they slew Shishai and Ahamon and Talmai, and from thence he went against the inhabitants of Debir, and the name of Debir before was Kerjath Sefer. And, Ka and Caleb said, He that sm uh, smiteth Kerjath Sefer, and taketh it, to him will I give Oxah, my daughter to wife, and Othniel, the son of Kenaz, Caleb's younger brother, took it, and he gave him Aksa, his daughter to wife, and it came to pass when she came to him that she moved him to ask her father a field, and she lighted from off her ass, and Caleb said unto her, What wilt thou? And she said unto him, Give me a blessing, for thou hast given me has given me a south lane, give me also springs of water, and Caleb gave her the upper springs and the nether springs. All right, so I'm going to stop right there. I want to take a look at this verse 14, and let's read what is the 1970 New English Bible says in verse 14. When she came to him, he incited her to ask her father for a piece of land. As she sat on the ass, she broke wind, and Caleb said, What do you mean by that? Okay, so if you don't trust the King James Bible as the pure word of God, you are not a serious Bible believer. Okay, there's just no way to justify that. And I want to thank Will Kenny for pointing that out. I thought I'd share that with you. Good day.